Hey guys, this is Maurice from Editor's Depot. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to edit After Effects intro templates, 2D intro templates. So I'm gonna go ahead and start today by saying that I'm gonna edit this really cool After Effects template. I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you guys. And I'm gonna mention right now that if you do like this template, you can go ahead and follow along by checking out the description. We're gonna have this video linked um, because we did make a top 10 video. We have a series of top 10 videos that we release every single day. Um, we try to release every single day. And this is one of the videos, it's actually number one or number two. So it's gonna be down below. I suggest you check it out and again you can just go ahead and check out editorsdepot.com for any templates you want so guys the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and load up the file it's going to look a little bit like this um, you might get a notification saying you're missing a plugin you're missing a font and that's totally fine i'm going to continue anyways and just know that a lot of times you don't need the content that it tells you that you're missing to continue i'm gonna hit okay and another thing is this view i can't really work with it it's called a workspace and a lot of times motion designers modify the workspace so they can really just work better so i'm going to reset this since i don't understand it you just go to window workplace and select text or really just whatever you want to use this is something i can work with i'm going to go ahead and get started now so in after effects we have things contained within things called compositions and basically that just means you know everything's contained within for example if i open up this composition which by the way, you have to unlock first if it's locked. Now you open it up and if you see what opened up here is just a bunch of other compositions where there's things inside of inside of them. And sorry, it's lagging because there's so many files here, but let's just go ahead and open up another composition so you see what I'm talking about. So here we have all the layers. This is pretty much, you know, the mess that they're hiding. And that's totally fine, guys. It's just a way to keep organized. But if you do want to modify the colors on every single layer, you're going to open up the compositions and just modify the last layer that you see. Here we're going to change one color just for tutorial sake. I'm going to open it up as far as I can to look for the fill. Here it is. I'm going to change it to red. As you can see guys, it's done. And if you wanna go ahead and change the colors for everything, you can just go ahead and do that. You see it's red here. And I'm not gonna change every single color because it's gonna take forever, but just know that that's how you do it. Now 99% of the people watching this tutorial just wanna modify the text layer. And thankfully we've gotten to that part. All you gotta do is just find the layer where it says edit me, change text, um, your name, something like that. And it's not too hard to, to spot. In this case, it was already opened and it was a, just a composition. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to that composition and go to a place where I can see the text clearly. I'm gonna zoom in one time and just click. So I double click and I'm gonna write editors depot. That looks good to me. Now I'm gonna go ahead and check if it's centered or not. And clearly it's not. So I'm gonna modify that by just clicking and dragging. Oh, by the way, if you hold caps lock, you're not really gonna get any updates. So make sure you turn that off after you're done. If you wanna change the color, you do the exact same thing I just showed you guys how to do. And that's pretty much it, guys. You're done rendering, sorry, you're done editing. All you wanna do is just go back to where it says render this composition or pretty much just the final composition and go to add to render queue or just add it to Adobe Media Encoder. Now, if you're still watching this video, please do drop a thumbs up and comment down below what you thought. Uh, I really read all the comments, not just me, but the team here at Editors Depot, we read all the comments, but we can't reply to everyone. I'm gonna show you guys how to set up the best render settings. Now, it's pretty simple. Just go to H.264 and hit maximum render quality. Now, that's gonna pretty much set you up, guys. Uh, just hit okay. You know, you don't really have to get any more picky than that. Go ahead and select the place where you wanna save it and then you're done. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, my name is Maurice. This has been Editors Depot. I really appreciate all you guys watching these videos and as always, take care.